Hello humans, welcome back to the weekly shave. Very special one, this one. Um, got a vintage razor for you today. It's a ladies razor. Very small, as you can see. It's the Nymph. Ladies Boudoir Razor and comes in a little green box like this and in a little case like that. Uh, it also comes with blades look like this and I'm gonna be trying these blades today because um, they are in OS, but they're also they've all also been wrapped in this kind of plastic that kind of created a, um, a vacuum around the blade, so the blade is actually in uh, in very good condition. Uh, if it doesn't work, I have a backup blade. It can just take uh, standard D blades, so. So that's good. Um, it's a three-piece razor. It's got a metal thread there and a metal thread inside the handle. But other than that, it's all Bakelite plastic. Um, so here you can see the blade. Looks to be in great shape. The nymph, gotta love that name. So we're gonna be trying this one. It's also my favorite color, green. So this is what it looks like with the blade. Like that. doesn't have any overhang so that's good um, I bought two new razors this was the first one and the second one is I will not be able to shave with this one um, I don't think you've ever seen anything like this because I sure haven't look at this little thing it's the Laurel Ladies Boudoir safety razor Um, it's a three piece, just tie it like this. You can see it here next to this. I mean, how tiny is it? And the funny thing is, with this little baby ant razor, it actually comes with blade. I'm just gonna. Unwrap this for you, and here I have my backup blade, Treat Classic. Let's get a look at that blade. And this is standard D. Just look how tiny that is. <laughs> so, but it had been used, this blade, because there was gunk on it when I got it. So I just put it in the ultrasonic cleaner and cleaned it up very nice. So someone has used this. Uh, for shaving, this is what the inside of the box looks like. So, not going to be using that, but it's a nice little novelty for the collection. Actually, in very good condition. So, just thought I'd show you that one before we move on with this weekly shave and it just fits in the box so so that's nice really looking forward to trying the nymph and 
And we're going to be putting on some of this. It's been a long time because I keep forgetting to use it. And I'm going to be using some Mitchell's wool fat soap today. And I'm also going to be using some Dapper Dan cream. So just going to load the brush. just going to take some cream and I am going to be if I can put it on the brush yeah, got most of it so and in the bowl we go. So I don't think I've used this combination before. And this Dabber Dan smells like the old brown hand soaps. Remember when I had, or my dad had the uh, brown or in school or something like that, I never really cared for the smell, but it actually brings back nostalgia, so it's not bad. Don't think I've used this particular combo before. So here we go. Very small, very light, nice green ladies razor with a original blade. Oh, that's tugging. Nope, it's not going to work, but come on, but it's worth a try, so I'll put you there and then we're gonna grab this one treat classic on its second use and this razor has practically no gap to speak up so now there's overhang This is not a pleasure. Oh. The, um, I don't know if you can see it. 
right there. The blade sticks out with the tips. So that's uh, Obviously this razor was never meant to shave. Man. Those tips. Brutal, they really are. Good under the nose, but uh, and it works, but. <clears throat> Not very good. So, ow. It's not going to be in the rotation, but I think at some point I'm going to see if I can cut those ends off and try it again. But for now, third pass, I'm going to be using my Gem Junior. It's much better. It was those uh, sides that ruined it. So, and it really does clog up. Because it's not meant for a man, but with that small of a blade cap, I am pretty, I don't see how it wouldn't clog up on women either. So, but it had to be tried. It's 
still some pickups. Obviously. So it's just gonna go in the vintage collection. I was actually very surprised how small that uh, lady's boudoir razor was. It does say it did say mini when I when I bought it, but damn, didn't think they meant micro mini. It's gonna be that DFS. So, although that didn't work out as planned, it was fun to try. Just gotta try it. Just try it once. And then you don't ever have to use it again. to the rescue. Face feels angry, but no surprise there. Oh. So now I can say I've tried it. Ah. So, and the uh, wool fats and the DD uh, made a nice creamy leather together. So, that was good. And I'm going to put on something soothing and a little bit cool. Some aloe vera gel. It's good for the skin. Especially when the face is angry. Go. 
So another interesting experiment done. Some works well, some not quite as well, but that's life. Don't know until you try. Wah. So I'm just going to show the blade, the original blade, the um, gunk and cream and stubble. So I'm going to have to wipe that off. I can't rinse it off. And you can see the uh, those edges of the blade. They got me several places. So, but uh, it'll heal up. So that's it. Thank you for watching this week's weekly shave. The nymph, ladies razor, very tiny, very tiny, tiny razor. Here it is against the uh, the junior. Jim Jr. So he has a very small razor, but uh, amazing condition. I think it will meet around 45, maybe 1945. Um, and of course, special appearance by the little boudoir razor. I like this kind of oddities in my collection. So um, that's it. Thank you for watching this week's weekly shave. Try something new. Just try it once. See how it goes. And um, until next time, next week, when I'll be back on another weekly shave, you know what to do.